Hey yo, it's Mr. O for Music Hands. Do you love garage band but hate getting that garage band sound in your songs? There are loads of cool apps out there with some great samples and great software instruments that we can actually add or connect into the garage band app. Want to know how to do it and sound like a boss? I'm going to show you in today's session. Let's jump right in. All right, here we are inside GarageBand. Today we're going to look specifically at connecting other apps into GarageBand. Maybe there's another app that you really love or another production technique that you want to bring into GarageBand. The easy way to do that is by going over to external and you'll see it gives you the option to connect another unit, maybe like a keyboard or a synthesizer. Here I have a couple of different apps or I can connect a different app entirely into GarageBand. So maybe I want to connect my Groovebox or Figure or even Loopy. I'm going to go specifically with Bloxwave because there's some amazing samples in here that I've discovered. I've got my browser open and I have a load of different samples. I'm going to go specifically for these melodic piano samples. And that's a good first demo. Sometimes when you connect to the Inter app, it fails. So I'm going to relaunch that again. So I'm going to double tap the home button. I'm going to quit blocks wave and let's just open that again. Okay, running background. I get the idea. So you see there the program glitched out. So I'm going to go back, find my interrupt audio again, find blocks wave and launch that again. Usually on the second try, it works perfectly fine. Let's see. Cool. So if that happens to you, shut Bloxwave down, or your other app down, and load it again. Okay, here we go. A few samples. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm going to take that roller piano sample. Notice my speed here is set at 96. So I want to make sure that's copied inside GarageBand. Double tap on the home button, go into GarageBand, and I'm going to set my speed to 96 BPM. So I'm copying the speed of my sample. Also, I'm going to set my length just to automatic for now until I get my sample captured. I'm going to hit record as I run this sample, jumping into GarageBand, and I'm just going to press record taking my metronome off. At the moment, it's kind of recording in free form. I'm going to cut and drag this perfectly on the beat. I'm going to press stop. I think I've got that. And I'll go back to my program and I'll just stop whatever loop is playing. Back into GarageBand. Now, if I tap on the brick wall, I'll be able to see my loop. So it looks like this moment here is the very beginning of the loop. See this section? I'm just going to make a quick split here so I can move this about. So get rid of that. And I know this is the beginning of my sample, so I'm going to just bring this to bar three, zoom in as far as I can. And when I move this, if I move it back and forth a little bit, it gives me the ability to move it in a very fine and detailed way. Sometimes when you just give it a quick move, it jumps a couple of frames. So by swinging it about a little bit, there I can get finer detail in my cut. Double tap, press split, my scissors come up, get rid of this other section, zoom back out. I'm going to drag this to the start of my loop. Put it back to the beginning, let's listen. Okay, so I could say that this is the loop now. Double tap and press loop, and I've now created this loop inside GarageBand, and I know it's perfectly in time. Let's say I keep that for four bars. I'm going to mute this, slide open my mixer, and I'm going to go into my settings. I'm going to open up another Inter App Audio unit. Staying in Blocks Wave, let me grab another one of these cool samples. <laughs> Cool. 
could take that, that's very nice. But I particularly like this. Double tap on the home button, jumping back into GarageBand. I'm gonna record from the beginning. Steady, off I go. Started that loop out of time, but it's okay. I'm gonna drag it back in place when I've captured the sample. Just let it play around a couple of times to make sure I've got what I need. And there we go. I'll stop that back into my other app and stop it in there. Okay. So I've got my two samples. I'm finished. Unfortunately, sometimes when you're working with the interapp unit and you're starting to cut because you've got two apps running, GarageBand can crash and lose your work. So I tend to be a bit heavy handed when I've got my sample. I double tap on the home button and I slide up and shut down the other app I was running. There we go. Sometimes it'll make a glitch sound. GarageBand isn't always happy. Other times it's fine. So if I tap my brick wall, I've got my sample. Let's have a listen, see where it loops. Looks like this little bit here is the beginning of the loop. Just there. So let me just cut away some of this so I can move this easily back and forth. And I think it's this section here is the beginning of the loop. I'll zoom right in. Let's move this to bar two and I'll drag this around again, get my fine movement. Split, double tap, bring up the scissors, get rid of what I don't need. And let's drag this to the beginning. Let's have a listen now. Cool. If I bring this to the beginning of the bar, just looping at the large uh, bar sign, double tap and select loop. That should be perfect now. Oh yes, amazing. So I'm actually gonna drag this over to this part of the song. So I've got first four bars with this loop, or it should be four bars. Let me extend this out a second. And four bars with this loop. Go back to my section. Remember it was an automatic. I'm gonna set it to an eight bar song. So let's have a listen to my samples. So now what I need is to get a fat beat on top of this fast. So I'm gonna jump into my genres. I really love the vintage breaks within GarageBand. So I'm gonna to go to my genres, select the vintage breaks. Let's have a listen. pull up my effects and I'm even gonna drop some cuts on top of this. Another new skill, linking other apps into GarageBand. Is there an app that you think is particularly cool? Maybe it's a synthesizer, maybe it's a horn app, I don't know. Drop it in the comments below. I'm always interested in new apps. Whatever you think is pretty amazing. I'd love to connect it into GarageBand and give myself a lot more to work with. If I move too fast through the editing or the cutting, there's a couple of videos in our past series on sampling and cutting up loops inside GarageBand, you might wanna jump back. We're gonna be moving on in the weeks ahead, so make sure you click on the subscribe button and we'll catch you next time. If you enjoyed the video, we appreciate a like. Thanks very much. Peace.